Okay, so Gina and I, we have a huge bone to pick with the world. Quit calling short girls cute. Can you please stop it? Because honestly, it is the biggest insult to all short girls out there. If there is any short girl out there who actually likes being called cute, do let us know in the comments below. <laughs> when you think of cute, you probably think of babies, cute little puppies, ponies, kittens. Baby dolphins. And baby freaking dolphins. Hopefully we don't actually look like those things. They are pretty cute. Yeah, okay, I won't deny it. They are pretty cute. That being said, Gina and I have decided we are gonna show everyone and prove to the world that short girls can be sexy. First up, I think what I need to do is take my hair down and take these glasses off because the librarian look, not so sexy. I think you need to take your hair down too and do a little Herbal Essence commercial here. Hello. I think our sexy meter just went up a couple notches. Oh, yeah. Just say it. 10 times sexier. For, for me, you know, I'm gonna lose the dimples because I keep hearing they're cute. So yeah. I'm gonna start walking around with a duck face. Oh my God. I can't handle your sexiness right now. And in fact, I think I need to grab this lip gloss here and try doing it myself. Oh, is that because Kylie Jenner's? This is the Kylie Jenner brand of lip gloss and it's going to accentuate the fact that the upper lip here is non-existent. It's weird, I don't have an upper lip either. Well then, here, here, have some of that. <laughs> just paint it all over your face. I just put it on her nose too. I mean, maybe that'll help the sexiness too. <laughs> mm, I'm feeling really sexy right now. <laughs> Another thing I heard was that oh. that's sexy, so why not let those ladies out, right? Woo! Gina, your turn. Oh, I have two buttons um, unbuttoned, so yeah, I think we'll just, we'll let, yeah. <laughs> what else we need can one we more do? thing. Okay, what's that? This is really gonna help all short girls. A stepping stool that travels with you. Oh, so does this fit in our purse? Yeah. Well, in that case, <laughs> height always makes all girls look sexy, oh, right? Whoa. Okay, Gina, I honestly think we're officially sexy right now. No, we're not. <laughs> we are cute, and we're gonna do what cute girls do and make Christmas cookies. Wow! Oh, I'm so pumped. Oh, screw being sexy. All the sexy girls are so jealous right now because they wanna make Christmas cookies too. <laughs> what? All right, let's get our bacon on, and let me put those away too. So now, Plus, if you're sexy, you're gonna be too hot and you're gonna burn the cookies and who wants to eat burned cookies? Yeah, exactly. I like your logic, let's get started. Okay, so these cookies are going to be coconut flour based because that's my favorite. We have two bowls here because one batch of cookies are gonna be red and one are gonna be green. And green's my favorite color, so I'm gonna go with green batch. And I mean, you're wearing red, so it kind of works perfectly. perfectly. What we should start out with is a fourth a cup each of coconut flour, yes? Yes. What I have here is clutch baking mix. I've never used it before, but I thought we could give it a shot because it's actually comprised of rice protein powder and pea protein powder, hemp protein powder, chia seed powder, stevia, natural vanilla flavoring, and that is it. So we want to give our cookies a little protein oomph. Oh, yeah. We're definitely going to get a little protein oomph with all those. Yeah, inside. I think so. For one scoop of this, there is 13 grams of protein, so that's pretty awesome. I like really sweet cookies, so I'm going to use a fourth cup of this work. Because you're so cute. I mean, I you're so sweet and cute and blah, blah, blah. And you can use as much sweetener as you want, you cute little thing, you. We have some coconut dream. I'm gonna say a third cup of that. Are you a chocolate person or are you a vanilla? vanilla. Oh, vanilla all the way. Vanilla, high five, yeah! See, we are so cute because vanilla is cute, let's be real. <laughs> and I'm going to use French vanilla in my little concoction right here. All right, that was about 12 drops. I'm doing what you do. Here is your food coloring. Go for it. How and much do we put in? I'm keen. It's up to you. Now we have an egg here, and we're actually going to use a half an egg per cookie recipe. So this is going to be a very interesting task. And the rest for you. Woo! Sharing is caring. Okay, I'm gonna put another one third cup of coconut milk into my mixture. Would you like me to help yeah. you with that? This coconut flour actually really absorbs all oh, liquids. Yeah. Look at it, it's looking really green. Ah! Ah, that was not sexy. Mm. <laughs> See, I'm not sexy. Alrighty. Well, our cookie mixes are ready to go. Now we are going to bake them in the oven at 360 degrees. I kinda just wanna eat the batter. I mean. Oh no, gotta stop, gotta no. stop. We gotta. Cute girls eat raw batter. As you can see back there, our cookies are officially done and they look really, really good. <laughs> they look so 
so cute, oh, right? So cute and petite. I know, so cute and petite, just like us, apparently. All right, let's do it. I'm into this. Me too. I'm really, really into this. This is a problem. I want to eat the entire batch the we just time. made. This probably didn't happen. We are going to finish eating our cookies, and you know, we're going to get a little bit more festive right now. Why not? We're cute, right? <laughs> And I mean, you're looking like a St. Patrick's Day parade balloon, if you will. I'm looking like a little elf. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Do let us know in the comments below if you are insulted when someone calls you cute. And also let us know if you are baking Christmas cookies in the next couple of weeks. Merry Christmas! Yeah! Happy holidays! And don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. And I also have to let you all know that starting on the 14th of December until January 6th, I'm not going to be posting video. But even though I'm not going to be posting any YouTube videos or blog posts, you can follow me on Instagram at Gigi Eats. I'm going to actually be going to Asia, so stay tuned for those photos. Gina, where can I follow you? Oh, a uh, new website coming soon, GinaTheTrainer.com. Instagram, GinaTheTrainer. Be sure to look for in 2017 a lot of exercise videos that are specific for people that live busy lifestyles, moves that you can do anywhere. Yeah, her Instagram is pretty awesome because she shows you these really cool one minute routines that really work the booty or the arms or whatever. And I'm gonna eat a cookie cause it's staring at me. All right, bye.